Hello, I'm Curtis Dykstra, Parks Naturalist with the Ottawa County Parks Nature Center at Hemlock Crossing County Park. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going on a virtual bird walk here at Upper Makatawa Natural Area in Zealand. Upper Makatawa Natural Area is a great place for birds because there's a diversity of habitats. These habitats include meadows, forests, marshes, swamps, and rivers and ponds. In particular, the best places to look for the birds are where these habitats intersect. I first decided to check a section of wooded trail along the Makatawa River for migrant warblers, kinglets, and more. And I wasn't disappointed. I just heard a downy woodpecker in that direction. There it is. I've spotted it. hearing a flock of golden crowned kinglets and yellow rump warblers. winter wren chipping in the brush right over here. I've spotted the winter wren. Take a look with me. Next, I chose to take the main trail that takes you through some great marsh habitat. Upper Makatawa Natural Area is a great accessible place to go birding. We have wide paved trails and bridges like this one. The shallow marshy habitat that this bridge crosses is one of the better places to look for Wilson snipe. Wilson snipes hide in the thick marsh vegetation, making them difficult to view. Unless, of course, they flush from their hiding spot and take flight. I just heard a calling Wilson snipe over in the marsh this direction. As I was looking for the snipe I heard calling, it suddenly flushed from in front of me and took flight. It eventually settled back down into a different section of the marsh. I'm seeing both swamp and song sparrows flitting around in the brush over this way. I'm going to see if I can call them and if we can get a better look.
my fishing had finally paid off as a swamp sparrow teed up for me, giving great views. is particularly good for observing marsh birds such as Virginia rails, soras, and American bitterns, and even least bitterns. Let's take a look and see if we can find any. It wasn't long before I heard several soras calling away in the marsh. and one even came out to give me a brief view. Lo and behold, as I was scanning for soras along the edge of the marsh, my eyes suddenly landed on this avian prize, an American bittern. This species is a super camouflage version of great blue heron and is extremely hard to view. This particular marsh has been a consistent place to find them in the spring. I just spotted a hermit thrush along the trail ahead. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Note the rusty tail coloring on its wing and tail. Hermit thrushes are currently migrating through our area on their way to breeding grounds in northern Michigan and beyond. While the paved trails are nice and easy to walk on, if you do get off the beaten path, realize that, especially in spring, the trails here can get muddy. So wear your rubber boots. With all the wetland habitat here, there's usually a large diversity of waterfowl, in particular in April when migration is in full swing. I've spotted a male and female blooming teal in the marsh behind me. I also spotted a pair of gadwall. Despite being drab gray, males can be easily identified even at a great distance due to their posteriors being jet black. I've spotted both wood ducks and a greater yellow legs with my scope way out in the distance. Let's take a look. Other waterfowl seen include mallards and Canada geese, as well as a small flock of northern shovelers. While walking the trail, I ran into several other birds of note, including these flyover sandhill cranes, this red-tailed hawk nest on a power pole, and a flock of about 50 rusty blackbirds. This one gave me a great look. Note the bird is the size of a red-winged blackbird, 
but lacks the red wing patch and has a pale eye. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed joining me for a virtual bird walk here at Upper Makatawa Natural Area. Here's a complete list of all the bird species I saw on my walk today. If you get out to enjoy the birds yourselves, just remember to practice proper social distancing during this stay home, stay safe, save lives executive order. You can visit a local park or natural area, or even just get outside in your own yard. A list of all 40 Ottawa County Parks properties can be found at miottawa.org slash parks. You can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram just search for Ottawa County Parks. Come join us again soon and don't forget to share this video with a friend.